Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of Roma Vastin. Um, it's been a little bit since the last episode, and that is simply just because I've been um, a little busy um, here in real life. But I am excited to be back at it. I'm probably, for, uh, for right now, just gonna kind of run around and show you what I've done and what's happened here um, in the past couple weeks um, since my last episode. Uh, I've been active and er, and I've, I've been on every now and then and you know doing some um, some little projects and things um, and so I guess I'll just kind of run around and show um, what I haven't shown yet so this is kind of a new section that I believe fix um, was the first one to kind of set up I'm not a hundred percent positive about that we got some new people on the server which is really awesome um, and they've been getting to work which is really cool but um, yeah, someone, I think Fix, set up this kind of area and said, hey, um, feel free to come in and, um, build some houses and we want, you know, he's wanting, I think, some, a variety kind of feeling of different shops and buildings. So I came in and, um, built this diagonal house. It's very similar to one that I had back in my area, way over there. Um, but I had a green roof on it and I thought that would be kind of cool to try. It's almost like, um copper old copper you know how it like turns green or whatever i believe that's how it works um so that was kind of what i was thinking and they have these little um dormer windows at the top there and yeah i tried doing complete diagonal um I, and i i'm pretty happy with it i really like how the roof turned out um and the, all these dormers i think it turned out quite nice i like it um but yeah i built that and here um, some other people have just been building these really I like this one this one's really unique all the purple um, I like this area just because it's so different and there's lots of different colors and uh, it's it's really neat a greenhouse I really like this this is so cool everyone is so great on the server it's so much fun to just hop on and see all these new changes and buildings popping up I love it so much um, but let's take a little uh, let's take a little fly, shall we? Over this way. I might have to turn my game sounds down a little bit. Um, but something I've been working on is a little underground area. Um, oh, okay, I'm jumping back. Um, well, for, firstly, I'm kind of I've started building some trees. I need to finish them. I set some up and I've just kind of left them, and it's kind of an eyesore. So I need to finish some of them. Um, like I finished a couple. But I need to finish more of them and kind of finish this little landscaping bit here. And then I built this cave and this whole tunnel, um, which goes way down underground into, um, as you'll see. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to deal with this. I don't have a bow, so I got to use my trident. Uh, let's see if we can get him out. Okay. Um. So. I tried doing some redstone. Oh, there's a tripwire here. Oh, that's a glitch. Um, okay. So let's see if we can do this correctly. So when you walk down, mobs um, turn turn it on sometimes. But when you walk down here, it should naturally be off. And you walk into here, and all of a sudden it lights up, and this waterfall starts coming down. Um, and it's just kind of a cool little bit of, like, a magical cave kind of feeling where... It comes to life when you walk in it, and you know maybe the sun all of a sudden shows through and it warms up the ice, and so it melts and creates a waterfall or something like that. Um, so I didn't have a super um, specific idea of what where I was going to go with this, but this is what I've kind of been working on um, lately. Um, I carved out this big, dug up this big hole, and then I've been adding these cliffs in. Um, and I'm gonna have ice all at the bottom, and it's gonna lead down to um, something down over here, maybe right here, and there might be some other little tunnels going off. Um, but it's gonna lead to this, and I think it's gonna lead um, over to Fix's tunnel that he's been working on um, somewhere, somehow. We'll hook him up, hopefully. But. Honestly, I just kind of created this without much of an idea. Usually how I tend to create projects and stuff is I just 
I don't really have much of a specific idea. I just kind of start building and then figure it out as I go. So that's kind of what this was, is I just, ah, I, I had a cool idea for an ice cave. And so I just dug out a giant hole and um, started building cliffs. So not 100% sure where that is going to end up at, but um, this is where it's at for now. There's some, I'm going to hop into um, spectator mode just so I can kind of fly through here. Um, so we got some little arches and um, it's obviously, obviously not done. Um, but this is how far I've gotten and it's just been kind of fun to, to set this all up. Um, I think that all is about the ma uh, majority of what I've been working on. Um, I'll run back, I'll fly back over to uh, my area over here. Um, I built a little underground stable storage area. Um, it's pretty dark right now because it's nighttime. But I'm actually, I'm going to set it to um, day just so for now, just so we can see. Um, I'm the only one on. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, there's just little little storage, and it's not really stable. Um, I kind of lied there. But it's more just like a little storage area. There's, you know, a trough, an empty trough, and um, wheels, and crates, and hay. and It's just kind of a neat little underground area with these um, little windows to bring in light. Uh, and I've been just kind of working on this building, which is a little passageway here. Um, there might at some point be a wall here, so this might be the only way to get through. I don't know. Um, and this, I've been working on the way to get up to this wall. But, yeah, you can see just little things here and there are changed. Um, but it's all kind of, kind of coming around. Um, it's really exciting to see because, like, this, this giant thing, this giant tower, um, this, <laughs> this is pretty new. Like, this is all new stuff popping up. It's really cool, really neat to see all this. Um, so hopefully sometime soon. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm hoping I can start working on helping Joel fill in the tree because I'm actually really excited to do that. Um, I hope he'll let me help him because I think that'd be kind of fun to uh, fill this in. So hopefully that will be coming fairly soon because that would be neat to get that done. But I think for now um, I had a little idea of something small we could work on for today. So I'm going to gather some materials and I'll meet you right back in a second. So my, um, kind of the idea I've had for this little area, um, is that we put a couple little small, um, farms or maybe gardens, something, something with plants. Um, and I need to make sure I leave, um, plenty of room here for whatever is happening with this building. Um, and I will do that, but... Um, kind of when I built this house, I was thinking I would have just off of it, I'd have some, some sort of farms or something laid out. So I think I'm going to start by just kind of laying out, oh, let's get some more cobble, um, kind of laying out the walls that will go on the edge of it. Now I'm kind of just figuring this out as I go. Um, I don't really have a, a lot of a plan for it, but, um, we'll just kind of start placing some things down and see how it turns out. So, let's see here. I'm going to try to have a good combination of um, <clears throat> blocks here. We want it to be pretty pretty worn down looking. Um, I kind of want it to actually let me get my pickaxe. Um, let's have it kind of follow the road a little bit more. So we'll have this come up here and maybe actually I'll put um, that can maybe be some sort of an entrance to the area. We'll have this here, and maybe some blocks back here with something on the side. Um, I don't usually like to be this random with my placement of blocks, but I think it'll be okay in this situation. Um, let's put that there. Okay. So, there will kind of be this wall, and we'll have the farm, we'll have one level kind of go here, um, yeah, that's good. 
So this will be a level of the farm, and it'll kind of pop down a level here. Um, oh yeah, and I was planning out a building here. I might move this. Actually, no. I'm going to have a pathway running through here. So just for my sake, so I remember that. What should I use to mark that? Um, I'll use, what do I have in here? I think I have some prismarine or something. Um, I'll use this to mark the path that I will put in. Um, and this might be just some sort of sort of little farmhouse or um, or shed or uh, barn or something. I don't know, maybe storage building, something something along those lines. Um, so I'll probably make it out of wood, um, most likely. Probably not stone. Probably wood with a, um, some sort of maybe a thatch roof or something. Um, but it's cold here, so they'd have to have lots of insulation for whatever it is. Um, but we can figure that out. So now what would be cool is if we kind of... Oh, where is it? In bed. I don't know where bed is. Um, let's see if there's any in any of these buildings. Oh, I'm going to turn my game sounds. That's really loud. Blocks. Um, no, oh, that's what I want. Okay. Is there a bed in here? Maybe? I think I've been in here before, and I got lost. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know where I'm going. Um, it doesn't look like there's a bed in there. So, let me... Let's check this building. This looks like a house. Maybe there's a building in this one. Ah, or a bed in this one. Here we go. Okay. Let's get to sleep. And I'm gonna... Okay. So, okay, yeah. Oh, this is neat. That's a neat little detail. I never noticed that before. I kind of like that. It's like exactly level with the dirt. That's kind of cool. Um, usually you wouldn't do that, so that's really cool to see. Uh, okay, so if we'll, now we'll start bringing this wall over. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Okay. Um, we'll bring this wall, start bringing it over along here, and then there will be a bit of a drop into the next farm, whatever it will be. I don't know. Um... Oh, this is kind of tricky working with a cliff, but we can figure it out. That'll be a fun challenge, maybe. Um, so we'll just bring this along here, vary up some of these blocks. And is that enough room for a walkway? Sure. We'll go with it for now. Um, some of this might change later on. But you got to just place down some blocks to get started, at least. Um, okay, so at this point we'll probably start bringing this over here and connect it. I'm guessing that's what we'll do. I don't know that for sure. Um, okay, so it's kind of looking crazy right now. I got random floating walls going around. but. Once we start getting this more put together, it will start looking a little bit better. Okay. I kind of like where this is going, though. But this is normally how I build. I just kind of get inspiration and start placing down blocks. Um, don't like don't wait until um, you have like the perfect idea. Don't don't wait to to get for the exact idea because any idea. If you have any idea, just go with it. And then you'll get more ideas as you're creating that one. So that's kind of what I like to do when I'm, you know, I, I, if I don't have like, feel like I have the just the perfect idea for something, well, if I have any sort of idea, I'll just go with it. And then I can adjust it along the way because as I'm building it, that's when new ideas are popping into my head. And um, that's when I'm getting, you know, inspiration is while I'm building it. So that's kind of what the way I like to do uh, build things, and and I don't see a lot of people um, building that way. So 
it, it's it's kind of a unique way, I think. So it wouldn't hurt for, to try it out and tell me what you guys think if you try building that way. Okay, so we're getting this wall. It's a bit messy, maybe too messy, um, but it'll be fine for now. And maybe what we could do, I'm not sure. I was thinking about trying nether wart as like a, f uh, a, f a crop, a farm crop, um, but I'm not sure how good that would look. Um, because it would have to use this dark mud block and the red. I'm, I'm just not sure. I, I was kind of picturing more green. Maybe wheat. So, um, I might have a small patch of um, another wart, but for now I think I'm going to go with uh, wheat or something, something that's an actual crop. So, let's kind of cut this through here. I think the first level will start at this layer. So we got to make sure this wall comes all the way down to the ground and we will just kind of fill this in with whatever we have. Um, let's grab some of this. Try to vary it up. Um, I suppose I should maybe be putting some more of these um, solid um, structured blocks at the bottom seeing as that's what would need to be the most um, strong. So I guess I can try doing that, and I'll just put some slabs because parts would have fallen down, and um, this is pretty good. So I can just start kind of taking this and adding it along here, and this I think this will be a good level, and we can I guess we can have a, another level a little bit higher here. Okay. So up here I was thinking maybe we could use some of the bushes. I grabbed some and I think I put them in this chest um, of the lilacs. Germ has a pretty neat texture here, um, which makes them look like little, like baby, uh, I don't know, cherry blossom trees almost. Um, I don't know. Well, I don't know what it looks like, but it's really cool. It's a nice texture. Um, so I think we could use this um, and make make it look like something, you know, someone's growing, harvesting them or something here. Um, I think that'll be pretty cool. And then down here, I'll try wheat, and we'll see how that works. But I think I'm going to cut away for a second and get some of this done. And I will catch you guys when I have a little bit more to show you. Alrighty, so... I spent a little bit of time um, just here off camera um, putting together a little um, barn, I guess you could say, or the outlines for it. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I, I, it's kind of a unique design. Um, I'm not going to turn around just yet, uh, see how long I can draw out the suspense. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I used some different materials and some different designs and styles. Um, so, I will just pop over here. Um, it's not done yet. You can see the interior is empty. Um, but this is it. It's kind of like just a really messy, um, worn down, old barn, wooden barn. Um, I used acacia and like all sorts of different textures here. Um, I used, you know, stripped wood and planks and trapdoors and stairs and I even used this block. And, um, see trapdoors inside there, and I just tried to use as much as I, much different things as I could. Um, the interior is kind of um, quite a mess at the moment, but I'll fix that up. Um, but I'm really happy with the direction it's going in. Um, I built this tree that kind of hides in the corner, kind of nestles it, uh, nestles it nice, nicely in there. Um, so. I don't know. I, I was, I was wondering if the roof was maybe a little too um, steep. Maybe I don't know if that's the right word, because it's a slope, but uh, or like a curve. But it goes up pretty high. I almost wish it was more um, level. But I think this is okay. And I put a bunch of grass and um, 
grass blocks and grass and leaves and on top, which I think kind of gives it a really unique, you know, worn down old um, feel, which is kind of what I was hoping for. So let me know what you think. Um, if you have any ideas or anything um, you think I should change or adjust, uh, let me know and I will look at those. But I think I'm going to end it here. Oh, maybe we can get a good view with, um, at the night, actually. Um, do I have torches? Yes, I do. I'll put some inside of here. Um, maybe one over here, and some by the windows. Um, I'll quickly fill her up. And put one right there. Let's see what this looks like at night. Um, but yeah, I do think I'm going to end it here. Um, I did not add um, any crop down here. I'll probably do that off camera, or maybe in the next episode. Um, but I did get this done, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we do have a beacon right in the way. Maybe I'm, I'll see if I can shut that off. Oh, that's not, that's not going to last. Um, I'm going to put temporary block right there. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty neat. I actually really like it. Uh, let me take a screenshot, maybe like that. Yeah, I think it's pretty neat. Um, yeah, but like I said, let me know what you think. And yeah, as always, um, if you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button and like the video, um, as that'll help me uh, know that you like what I'm doing. And um, yeah, I always appreciate that. Uh, but I thank you for watching very, very much. Um, I appreciate it so much. And I will... See you guys on the next episode of The Realm of Aston.